Hey guys, Ron here. I want to show you this incredible piece of equipment. Um, vintage 1966. This is, the, this is a camera case. And uh, look at the quality of this thing. Stitching. Japanese. And um, storage compartment on top for storage needs. This thing weighs a good four or five pounds. It's just an incredible piece of equipment. But even more important than that is what came in this thing. Look at this big. True stitching all around. Handle straps with metal inside to slash them together. Reinforced side straps. Buckles. Now what came in here was uh, pretty incredible. I'll show it to you. Check it out. The camera. The 1966 Mamaya. I call it Mamaya. Some people say Mamaya, but in Japan I think it's Mamaya. A C33 twin lens reflex. This thing is incredible. The quality is outstanding. Um, everything on it. And this thing is like in brand new condition for 1966. This thing weighs a good, uh, probably weighs eight pounds. This was state of the art. It's got uh, a crank winder, uh, a reflex viewer viewfinder, twin lens reflex. So one lens is for viewing, the other lens has the f-stop and shutter built into the lens. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's pretty intense. The quality of this is just phenomenal. And this comes with, uh, there's a, I think that's an 80 millimeter lens stock that's on there. This comes with uh, a spare 0.5, they call it 18 centimeters, so I have to look up 18 centimeters. Millimeters is thousand, centimeters hundred, so uh, this could be the 80 millimeter. In which case, these would be... No, these are 80 millimeters, so that's got to be, I don't know what that is, I'll have to look it up. But this comes, that comes with a case, original case, it's absolutely stunning. My Seiko in Japanese, just gorgeous piece. Original lens caps. And this too, you know, has the shutter and the f-stop built into the lens itself. Just beautiful equipment. This thing is outstanding. And this came with uh, an overhead viewfinder with a magnifier. So you could uh, remove that instead of a reflex, look straight down on it. Incredible optic. It's got the original literature. got a, uh, a side handle, side mount handle with a cool shoe built on it and it's got uh, original instruction in the owner's manual. I think it's a 120 uh, standard, it's a 120 roll film but then it's got a, uh, a 220 back so you can use 220 film and that also it seems to be brand new still in case. I mean, it's incredible. It seems like 51 years old. It's absolutely stunning. And uh, these have a bellows. And I mean, I mean, the bellows, everything's in absolutely mid condition. This thing's incredible. But I'm telling you, it's a good got to be a good, maybe it's 10 pounds, the thing is solid, it's an incredible piece of equipment. This was like when the Speed Graphics was out, and it was a view camera, 4.5, uh, 4 by 5 uh, press camera, this was its competition. This thing is phenomenal. So I think that's going to be my new vlogging camera. Uh -huh.
little operator malfunction there. Yeah, I need to do anything up there. And the original back and the original box, original instructions, case for the uh, for this for this box, this back, this thing I actually folds up, gets put away. Some original article information on it. Uh, back then, exposure charts. You used to process this film yourself, or uh, you'd be outdoors. 180 millimeter f 4.5 circle of confusion. It's got uh, all the f stops and uh, what they call circle of confusion. That's, that's uh, setting up the angle. All right, guys, and that all goes in that incredible case. So that's today's high tech. That's today's tech. An incredible piece of uh, memorabilia history. I think it's a little different than the usual thing, but you don't see these, especially in this condition. This is literally factory new. So everything fits in here really nicely. It's designed for this. You can see you find it will put in the top. I mean, I just wish you could feel the, uh, the quality. It's leather, it's not plastic. And the snaps, everything is so strong and industrial grade, it's pretty impressive. And that was the way they used to make stuff back in the day. And in Japan, it was amazing. 1966. She's a beauty. 1966, what a beautiful piece, huh? Alright, guys. It's a, this is a direct competition with Hasselblad and uh, has the same quality as well. But it's just a nice, nice piece. Nice to see. They don't see these anymore. And uh, real ground optics. The photos it would take were just phenomenal to do some super high res uh, black and white photography with it and color. Alright, guys, that's just something unusual and different today. It's my new vlogging camera, so what do you think? I don't vlog though. So the place is getting a little out of hand, so I did some rearranging once again. Try to clean up a little bit and organize my uh, my place here because the studio is getting kind of packed. What I did was uh, I reversed the uh, put the little table there with all that stuff for that thermal take the View 27, and then turn this back into a work table. So I probably add one more here and one more here, make a, a whole whole bank of them. So I had a space to work on besides I'd like to be able to keep this desk more clear. So uh, that's what we got guys. And I'm getting an abundance of cases. They're all over the place. Computer cases. They're, they're taking over the place. It's crazy. Alright guys. Breaking Bad Season 4. And uh, I think five is the last season. Pretty intense. Everybody's mining again. The wind mine has been working really reliably and well. I think I showed you guys the new software. So you can control everything from the uh, internet update status. I'm down to three machines only, and I'm still averaging between 415 and 550. Just using uh, these machines. This guy, this guy, and this little guy. This little guy, I put a, I put the RX, uh, the GTX 750 in there, TI, GT 750 TI, two gig, and that's bringing a few bucks now. So. And it's a good machine. I gotta sell that if anybody, if you know anybody who wants it. Also, the Maya camera. If anybody wants that, it's for sale. The whole package I'll probably sell for like seven fifty. And uh, the vintage collector guys, I asked him like fifteen hundred bucks. Just thought I'd mention it. All right, guys.
Almost, almost New Year's. Alright, see you later guys. Not for now. Ciao. See you on the runway. Ciao baby.